Hi, this is Susan Leventero. Okay, so we just did Cancer. Now we're going into Leo. I had to stop because it took... It was more like a um, human reading than a pet reading because it was like what the pet witnessed and they wanted to bring it up. That was interesting. Okay, so that was Cancer. Now we are on Leo. Okay, what I'm getting is there's someone here that doesn't have a pet, but... Uh, it's something that has to do with culture and pets and maybe they're not so fond or could have been like family member said they were allergic to dogs and so that was that belief system was kind of passed down but they're asking to uh, for you to revisit that and see if maybe connecting with the dog would be uh, a nice thing for you if you're here it's a message okay now, let's see. Unsaid sentiments to you and your future dog, or uh, if you have a dog, it's unsaid sentiments from your dog. No, from you to your dog because you've been so busy. Okay, there's that. <clears throat> okay. Every day managed to take my breath away. What I'm getting is like a service dog is what I'm getting with this. And they look to you for direction. It's like they look at you as the alpha dog. And they would like, they, when you come home, they would like for you to connect with them and do things with them. And uh, it's like they want to be in service. And so that's what I'm getting. And... For some of you, this is like wanting to go exercise with you to do things outdoors, walking, running, whatever it is. They want to be a part of it. Okay, so, but this is also the message from the human to the dog. <laughs> so, <clears throat> maybe they have more energy than you do. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. You are always my rainbow after the storm. So it's like you look to your pet for serenity and peace. Everyone has their own love story, but I will always think ours is the best. Okay, so what I'm getting is that sticker. Who rescued who? Okay, who rescued who, right? Okay, and what I'm getting is... Okay, so it's like Leo gets a lot of attention from the public is what I'm getting. Okay, but when you come home to your pet, it's like uh, even Stevens, even Scale. Uh, and it's like all that, it's like personality or, hmm, what is that? All that. It's like, okay, the public has a certain idea of who you are, right? And when you come home to your pet, it's like they see you for the love that you really are. And they don't, it's not, they're not adding all that extra. So it's a nice feeling, connection. Okay, I like that. All right, now let's get uh, domestic things. Okay, so a lot of you are single, is what I'm getting, and they want to help you find a partner. So they're like, let's go out places more. Okay. All right, what is this serious illness? Hold on a second.
okay, so it's like... <sighs> okay, so... I'm getting, see if you can incorporate more healthy diet for the pet. That's what I'm getting. Okay, sometimes... Okay, I'll just tell you what I do, and I don't know if it's it's better than anything, but what I do is when the salmon goes on sale, I go buy it, and I slice it, and then I freeze each slice, and then when I want to do a quick meal for the dogs, I do it Japanese style. I put it on a uh, tray, and I broil it, and then I mix that with uh, certain uh, greens, okay. And uh, so you kind of have to tune into your own energy and your dog, and then that way you can find out um, what might be the best diet for your dog, okay. And uh, it could be about experimenting and trying different things. And then be careful about the labeling of dog, um, dog treats and stuff. Because these companies package things and they're not always... I hate to say this, but profit over uh, health, right? Okay, so we have to kind of be careful about uh, what we are uh, buying and because the packaging may not represent where the meat or products are coming, actually coming from. Okay, so that's really important. Okay. All right, so... And I feel like the industry is getting better. That's what I'm getting with this dry cleaning. The industry is getting better, and uh, but it may take uh, time for more people to kind of really pay attention to what you're giving to your dog so you know what works and what doesn't, okay? Tuning in to your pet, okay? Sometimes when we have emotional things going on, we're not paying attention uh, so much to uh, the things. But we're careful about what we ingest, right? And so, therefore, uh, we can do the, the same for our pets. Okay, now this dry clean, what I'm getting is like bedding and stuff. Okay, so... Okay, so I can't sleep with my dog because she snores. So, um, but like pet dander and things like that, if you do, then um, <clears throat> get things that are uh, easily, uh, they have things, all kinds of things now for furniture and for bedding where you can just easily toss it into the uh, washing machine. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with that. Okay, so what I'm getting is dirty laundry here about, uh, I'm getting like um, stuff behind the scenes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave it that there. Let's get another one. Ooh, okay, so this was on top, unicorn space. Okay, so. Answer this question, then make a commitment to setting aside the time to pursue it. What makes me feel at least two of the following emotions, exhilarated, content, fulfilled, or focused? My unicorn space for the next six months will be, and this could be with your pet. I will commit how many hours a week to pursue connection with my uh, loving pet. 
dog. Okay. Okay. All right, let's get a flower from your pet. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a whole bouquet. Okay, compassion, heart cease. Compassion, tread a little more tenderly. Okay. Stock, slow down. The pace must abate before it's too late. Okay, so yeah, um, that would go with this unicorn space thing, right? All right, so it's like time management, status. Adaptation, being able to adapt, even if you have a strict schedule, being open to and flexible to um, things that pop up, like a date. Change will be better than you think. Okay, so being willing to change with, move with the change. That's what I'm getting. Bird of paradise, self-acceptance. You are so much more. It's like they see you for how wonderful you are, no matter what happens. Anemone, optimism, look up and look brightly. So um, Cancer kind of got this too. So if you're a cusping Cancer Leo, um, op it's good to look on the bright side, right? Sunny side up. Okay, so I feel like that's where all the things flow in. Okay, let's get this. Pets. You love and understand animals. Okay. This wants to come out. Okay, imagine... What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? I'll leave you with that. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go into Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Unsaid sentiments. Virgo, from you to your pet. I would be lost without you. <laughs> I am so glad my day begins and ends with you. Woo! Amen on that one. You will be forever my always. Oh, so cute. All right. Let's get domestic things. Let's see here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. School forms. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is... Okay, so for some of you, this is like um, training your pets. Okay, filling out the right paperwork for when you travel places and planning ahead when you go traveling places so that everything's in order. Okay, no surprises here. Okay, for some of you, you might be considering getting a service dog. That's what I'm getting. Some of you may be teachers. And some of you may do some sort of, and this is not just dogs I'm getting. This is like pet therapy, like going with different, someone's doing zoo animals here. Okay. So... Okay, so for some of you, that your work might feel like a zoo, and then when you get home to your pet, it's like a relief. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, okay, so... 
Okay, so laundry. What I'm getting is... Okay, so sometimes pet dander can be a thing. So it's like... And not just pet dander, human dander, right? If you wash beddings and clean uh, vacuum and things like that, then that can... Um, that can lessen the pet dander and stuff like that. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Washing pet bedding often. And that helps them too. Okay. And, uh... Okay, uh... Okay, and what I'm getting is sometimes when you're gone, they like to sleep on your clothes. For those of you who don't put up your clothes, <laughs> you throw your laundry, dirty laundry on the ground or whatever, and they like to sleep on that because they, your scent is there. Okay. <laughs> okay, and gifts. They love presents. Okay, and so uh, this is a Virgo reading. So they watched you get gifts. Okay, for uh, your birthday. Okay, and dishes. Okay, so. Okay, so this is washing their water bowls <clears throat> and dish bowls with soap and water to keep the germs off of, <clears throat> keep them clean. Okay, and fresh water every day. They like riding in the car with you. Okay, and then holiday cards. Who got this holiday uh, Someone got, uh, I think it was Gemini, I want to say, got snail mail, sending mail to elders. Okay, so, okay, I see, uh, thank you. Okay, so what I'm getting is they would love to be included. Okay, for those of you who do family photos and send those out to um, friends and relatives, they would love to be included in that or even creating a holiday greeting around your dog. Okay. <laughs> they would love that. Okay, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> okay. All right, that's fun. Okay, so let's see. Flowers. What flowers would they give you? Woo, wisteria longevity. Plan for and take a dedicated path. Yeah, service to others, right? That's what I'm getting. Endurance, cactus flower, hold on, you can do this. Okay, so releasing those thoughts. Okay, so uh, the cactus flower blossoms, I think, in May, right? So, uh, what is that? Okay, for some of you who... Okay, so free yourself from any thoughts uh, that are not positive. That's the first thing. The second thing I'm getting is there's somebody um, that has you in mind that is from a dry area. Okay. doesn't have to be a desert, but from someone who has uh, lives in a dry place. Okay, so that's all kinds of places, but it could be a desert. And then May is when the flower blossoms, right? Here.
Okay, so zinnia, absence. What is not here is the key. Okay, so if you've been waiting for someone, they're asking, I feel like they're asking you not to. I feel like holding on to the idea of someone who has not stepped forward um, that says all kinds of things, right? Okay, so that's the message. So I feel like by releasing that, that will allow the new person to come in. That's what I'm getting. Let's get another one. Moth orchid, communication, listen and speak with greater care. Okay, so this came, listen came up in cancer reading. Okay, so listen, it was like in that subtle energy, you could connect with your pet and flow with your pet. Okay, listen and speak with greater care. Okay, so listen more deeply. I feel like there's more to a message. Self-acceptance, you are so much more. Okay, so it's there's so much more than meets the eye is what I'm getting. And you and and that is I feel like you're not seeing um the beauty of you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And what I'm getting with bird here is psychic energy. So I feel like you have a lot of that. And you uh, I'm getting that you psych psychically uh connect it's like you communicate with your dog without words. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and so for Virgo, I think Taurus got this. Move with the change. I don't know, maybe someone else did, but adaptation. Being flexible and moving with the change. And the change is going to be even greater than you imagined. That's what I want to say. Peruvian lily, strength, more effort will get what you want. Okay, so what I'm getting is not efforting, actually. I'm getting, uh, releasing that resistance and just flowing is the strength. Okay, so strength is represented as a Leo in tarot, right? So it could be a fire sign or anyone who has a sunny side up, that's what I want to say, is a magnet to you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you.